Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the episode of my time at Andra. Oh, you're slacking, dude. Um, speak to your partner. Darling. <laughs> Uh, we'll soon start raising our child and moving into the next chapter in our life. I am standing on a crib right now, but whatever. Congrats on the new roles. Important moments are worth remembering. So here's the gift I prepared for you. Thank you, sir. Another cactus I can't uh, place anywhere. Darling, I read that it's good to drink hot yak Malmo before going to bed. Then you can rest easy. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, so, Leah, last time we... Uh, we opened Grace's uh, little shop, I guess we can call it, her mixology stand. Uh, there actually was no cutscene for that, by the way. I was hoping that they did add one. I felt like it should have a cutscene. Uh, I wanted the baby, actually. Sorry. Mm. I am going to give this kid a gift. Nope. Nope. I'm giving her a gift. Thank you. Um, that yeah, tin frog she doesn't like. Anyway, <laughs> that was a distraction. Uh, we finished Grace's booth. It does not have a cutscene. I hope it had a cutscene. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to turn in the airship finally. Um, I think it's safe that we're all the character missions that we had are kind of over with, and I think it's safe to move the story forward. It probably was safe all along. It was just me being... Let's be honest. It was me trying to delay the inevitable. Okay. I don't like the... I mean, I love the end of the story. I just... I'm not ready to be here yet. I just... I don't know. It just comes on you so fast. And I don't know. It's always so sad to be at the end of the story. So it's like it's so bittersweet. But, you know... Thanks for giving me this. No, nah, you're welcome, sir. Yeah, it's just so bittersweet being at the end. But we will turn this in tomorrow. Uh, Jessica, well, I'll show you the calendar. I, I, as, I don't have 100% confidence in the timings of things anymore. Just because timings have changed so much. Oh, I can take that, no problem. We will do this for Pablo. We will do this for Owen. And we'll do this for 13 extra dollars. Um, I don't have the confidence in the timings that I used to just because um, everything is so different now. So from how it was in early access, we will look at the map. So, we're not going to turn it in today. We will turn it in on Friday, tomorrow. Which I think the baby will be born right around here. Um, so we'll be fine. So if I turn this in tomorrow, this next day is always nothing. That's how it was in early access. This day would then be, so turn in, nothing. Everyone starts to arrive. And it is the first day of speeches. And I think the concert, Luna comes. This is the day our parents arrive because they are coming. They have said they are coming. Um, there's a banquet and another and an, an, an award ceremony in the, in the beginning, in the morning. And then this is the day that is the credits roll. Like, we do an airship ride. There's a touch, a, a scene that I will try not to cry during. <laughs> I make no promises. And then the credits roll and the game, the proper initial game is over. So that is what it should be. So turn in, nothing, day one, day two, airship ride and credits. Start a post-credit content. So, yeah. So I think we're going to turn it in tomorrow. That is what I think we're going to do. I, like I said, I don't I don't have as much confidence in the timings as I used to. I that was what the early access timing was. That really creeps me out that you keep seeing those floating items. 
There's nothing I can do about it, but I just keep seeing them and it's like, what are you? Okay, we just need to sell that. Um, okay. Oh, this thing. That's why I just need to sell it because it's kind of useless. We're just gonna have to get used to him having a different colored hat. I It can't be helped. It is so nice seeing him just roaming around. Thank you, Logan, for picking different animals. Oh no, he actually is at work, isn't he? Yeah, he actually is at work. So it isn't as sweet and cute. I am, don't need to give you anything, do I? Let's just do, oh, because I put everything away. Never mind, I was gonna do it for good old time's sake. Nope, we won't. So today I think we're gonna go back to fishing, probably. Maybe making some weapons. Thank you. Um, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, there are no birthdays today, correct? Mabel is the sixth. Um Well, we'll go back and refine stuff. Cap. Um, there are built in to, I want to say it, the earliest they can spawn is the first day of the, um, the summit not really spawning that's like the wrong word um everyone will have a line to say to us and it culminates with the banquet in which everyone kind of i compare it to um the movie in movies when like they want to do like a freeze frame and like the world sits still and you're the only one in, in act like reacting to the world everyone's just paused it's like time is paused they have an entire section of the banquet that everyone is paused. So if you did not get everyone's line, you can always get it during that. It is just, it is overwhelming because everyone has a line for you. I think they're mainly voiced now. I'm hoping they are because um, Hello. <laughs> I fully lost my voice last night. <laughs> Like, it was rough. After reading everyone's dialogue, it was rough. I lost my voice, so I am hoping they are voiced. I really hope they are. I do think they are. Um, the only person who I've seen the content uh, is LMG's videos, where his, I mean, his save is so messed up because... <laughs> Of choices he made. It's, it's hysterical. He plays the game like I never would, which is why I think I enjoy his content. Because it's like, you're just like, no, no, like, please, no, stop. Like the haircuts he picks, it's stuff I would never do. But it's it, it makes me, he does the things that I'm too uncomfortable to do on my own, in my own games. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's the purpose and why I love to watch him. But his save is so messed up. I saw him getting lines. And I don't think he really knew why he was getting said lines. And a lot of them were people saying things to him. And it was the lines that you would have gotten during the banquet. So I do think they are voiced now. Who wants something, Trudy? No, Katori still. Let's go see if that nest is there. But yeah, so I do think the majority of those special dialogues are now voiced. I'm ho I, I really think they are. From the little bit, like I said, the content I've seen, they are voiced. But if not, I have my bag of cough drops ready to go. <laughs> I will read them all. I'll try not to cry. I don't know, the ending, I'm one of those people that like, I get very sentimental about games. Like in the end of Stardew Valley, I cry every single time when Get the grandfather rates you. I don't know why. There's no reason for it. Cause it's not even that touching a thing. Oh, I will ball my eyes out. I can't watch it. Um, I will ball my eyes out. The last 
Trudy scene, I will. <laughs> it can't be helped. I wish it could. One egg. Okay. That's better. Man, that nest needs to be improved. <laughs> if that was the case. But yeah, it's like, I, it's, it gets difficult for me to read all the lines because some of them are very sweet. Like, because the people in this town, they adore you by the end of this game. And it's very sweet, the things they say. Very touching. So. Like, the end of Portia, I didn't cry at all. Like, the end of Portia, I was okay. This game, for whatever reason, has just, like, this very, very special place. Uh, we're gonna go fishing over here, I think. And did I have the bait? Possibly. I don't. Oh, it's Scorpsters here. We're fine. Yeah, this game for some whatever reason just pulls at my little heartstrings. I'm a too attached to the characters, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Oh well. So yeah, but I do think the end is a lot, a lot of it's voiced. There are, are there are, there are still some things I'm hoping got changed from when I saw the ending last. I know I'm, it's probably a fool's hope, but I don't, I, I, there are certain things I do wish were a little different. Um... Just because the end of the game feels a little rushed when you compare it to the rest of the body of the game, it feels like it was rushed. Like it doesn't, it lacks the polish that the rest of the game has. They've improved it already a little bit, but it does lack polish. Um, Because they were really when they were trying to get the build done, we are getting no waves, I have to say. When they were getting the build done, like, because I was a, I was beta testing all of that, and there is a bunch of waves. And yeah, they were really cutting it close with deadlines and stuff like that. And even got, it did get pushed back. Like, always keep that in mind. The end did, the full release did get pushed back a lot like it was like a full month month and a half um that was a thing and it needed it and i know people were really upset about it but oh it needed it it actually probably should have been like the game was released what on november 2nd it was supposed to be october i thought or september 26th was the original release date for full for full release and it got pushed to november 2nd I, I would actually venture to say they probably needed another month and a half to two months. That is how much longer I think they probably required that they should have given themselves to finish the end because it was rushed uh, to make the deadlines because they there were major bugs, like ma <gasps> Ooh, major bugs that were happening that were game breaking like your game was broken woohoo look at that a horned adder king wow okay now we just need the snake king but yeah like they were like because so the problem was i hit the, the wrong bait rules. um the problem with the, the game breaking bugs was they had weird things built in like for instance certain characters when their romance quests like okay we'll we'll do Amira for an example Amira has the entire quest with doing the kiln and all of that if i believe if you started to romance her before that quest was part of the game you just never got the kiln quest even though that is technically like a big mission for Arvio and Amira, you never got it if you were romancing either of them. If you were, I think if you were romancing her or Owen, I don't think you got either of them. And then people were kind of saying like, wait a minute, because I chose to romance them early, like that's being held against me. So they were trying to undo it. 
And that really messed, like it was, that's just an example. That was not, I don't think that was the official mission that did it, but it was like stuff like that, where the game was relying, they were kind of going back on what was decided at a certain point, then it kind of messed with saves. But yeah, like there was, as was a beta tester during that time, it was, there were some really bad bugs. And like, we all saw how much time they really needed to get this thing perfect. And like everyone else was getting so impatient and some people were being very cruel. And we're just like, oh, they really need the time. God. It's like, if you could see what we're seeing, we weren't allowed to say anything. Like people were trying to like, just be like, it's for the best everyone. But yeah, it was, it was an interesting time, the whole full release, but you do, it, it is rushed a little. The finesse is not there. The little moments are not there. Oh, you again. I should be happy. This, this is why the, the Snake King is going to be very hard. Because it's going to prioritize these guys. Well, that's going to be our gift for the Day of the Bright Sun. If we're still playing then, I think we might. Because they did say that there's going to be a March update, <clears throat> which I kind of don't think is going to be content heavy. I think it is going to be technical behind the scenes heavy. I could be wrong. It's just the way they're talking about it in the dev vlogs. It feels like it's going to be more back end behind the scenes things we're not going to notice type stuff. They did say in the spring they are releasing a D another DLC. So I mean spring, it's kind of big open window there. Spring. Um, but they did say it was going to be cute, so I don't know what that means. So to me, spring is probably maybe May. That would be like the latest because I mean, summer in the Northern Hemisphere is June, right? It's like June is when it begins. I never pay attention to like the first day of whatever it is, what it is. Like I'm that person who looks outside and be like, oh, it's warm, it's cold. Yeah, great. I don't really pay attention to seasons much, mainly because we really haven't had seasons lately. Um, so it's just one of those things. I don't really pay much attention to it. Could be the end. Well, Memorial Day is like the official, and in the United States, uh, Memorial Day is not like the official start of summer now. The unofficial official start of summer. And what was it Labor Day is like the unofficial official end of summer. So that's why I say May, I would think, is when the DLC will come out. I'm curious what it's going to be. Um, part of me hopes that it's going to be something... We're putting tinfoil hats on right now. Part of me hopes it's going to be something that's like... Gameplay adding. Like could be more dungeons that type of thing i would love if they did a dlc of like logan forming um the monster hunter hunter guild that would be a, a to me a neat dlc to add um at some point i'm wondering if there's a different hole that might be better to get the snake king We'll do these two and because, yeah, we're really just getting the horned adders. I think what we're going to do is on the way home, we are going to a horns on the head bloom with the beautiful crown like flowers. We'll read it in here since you want to cut it off game. 
Uh, it is famously elusive, but worth a lot more than the based horned adder. We're going to go to the bend and go get some shallopeeps. Oh, that was a nice black thing there. But yeah, like, so that's what I would like to see for a next, like a DLC. I mean, furniture and all that's fine. I would prefer furniture over like clothing. That's just me. Cause I mean, I find an outfit and this is what I wear for a while. I don't change it really ever. Um, So clothing to me is eh. I know there's some people who that's what they like is clothing. I'm not a clothing person. Um, furniture, kind of. Only if it was like, it made it so that we could put items on uh, the cabinets and stuff. If it didn't do that, then no, I have no use for it. Um, like it has to bring some form of utility to the pieces like that to me would be the most worthwhile thing they can do is being able to like decorate the right way like how you we want to decorate that would be worthwhile bathroom dlc would be fine really i mean if you think about it, it that is a waste because i have a wannabe bathroom and we never go in it like it is a vacant room that is just there for decoration and once in a while me to giggle <laughs> that is the purpose of it um, it's Rosie. Are there any sandstorms coming up? No. Okay, that works out. I wonder if that's purposely written to the game now. Because before you would still get sandstorms after the greenification, that was a thing. It didn't end it forever. Um, I wonder if it now did a, does a better job of writing out the sandstorms. <laughs> so it was like, they always existed. And you were always kind of like... I'm so happy I built this entire wall of... You are slack, sir. Um, like, I'm so happy we built this whole desert full of plants. You're really doing a good job. <laughs> like one of those things. We will give her a toy telescope piece. Hey. Darling, being a monster hunter ain't easy. You, you, got, you don't gotta worry about me, all right? I know being a builder ain't easy either. Don't tire yourself out. Yeah, it's back to normal. Cherish this moment. Uh, good morning. I feel well rested. At least. Mm -hmm. huh? Why are you looking at the camera like that? That is so weird. What do you want to play? I've been noticing that they do that once in a while. It's like all of a sudden they look at the at like you and the camera. And it's like. It like breaks the, the the wall a little. You're like, um, okay. Why are they staring at my soul? Yes, I am controlling you a little bit. Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I doing this one? Hmm. I don't remember. Thanks for giving me this. Sure. We are going to turn in this to Elsie. We're gonna make her one just because you're not Heidi. And Chi or Chi or Heidi. Um, we'll do this one. We almost gotta be reaching a point where we need to be almost out of uh wood. I need to check that actually. And really I don't. Poplar, we're fine. Okay, oh we're fine. Okay. Just this, maybe, if I feel like it. Who's here? Gee. Thank you. I will take advantage of the fact that you are out and about. Oh, well, there. They went in the house. Okay, we're going to check the mail and... B&B, thank you. Didn't she just send me some?
Andy, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, his hat's different. Dang it. Why does your hat keep doing this? If I knew this hindsight being 2020, not that bad. It's just, it's too warm of a color. That's all. Remember, don't go hungry. Well, you always tend to forget everything. I do. We do not need to water. I was like, forgot what day it was. I'm like, do I need to water to stuff today? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, we're going to go turn in our commissions and then we will turn in um, the six star commission and get 18,000. The six star commission, oh, wink, wink. It's really only like two, but it's fine. Oh. Yes. I don't know what's, what, what level I would give it. I, it's not a six to me. Um, which technically it does have more plates than I did give it credit for because we have two engines. So it does have six extra plates that I did not give it credit for. So I do apologize to the airship that I did not give it full credit for the amount that it had. Um, so it does have six extra plates that I did not give it credit for. Oh, you're right here. Thank you. All right, we'll turn in our last commission and turn in an airship. Yeah, but I don't know what I would give this as a as star. It's not six, definitely not six. I would say maybe a four and a half. It is a four and a half star commission. Oh, we need to give a uh, Jack, Jack? No, Jane, a gift. Where in the world did I get Jack? I have no idea. <laughs> I was in Porsche, I guess, for a second. Um, you. Thanks. Oh, I she's our good it. friend. We made to start taking her on dates. It didn't help that we did lose a whole heart with her early on because of a bug. I'm hoping it does get fixed for the next um, update that they do. And then, oh, we need to probably just start taking her out on dates. That's what we need to do. Hi, hon. Oh, yeah, who, who's here? Sorry, I got confused. Right, I saw got you. Some outdoor gear. <laughs> it's really what it is. I saw him and like my mind just went blank for a second there. Grandma. How are you? you? Worth it for Grandma Vivi. All right, let's turn in a commission. Still the wrong color. Way does not need anything. It's, how it gets very difficult to deprogram myself from giving something to Way every day. Um, we're gonna leave Monet here. Um, sorry, I was just thinking about the fish. I never got the mudfish, did I? I got the lungfish. So we may need to go to the one that's up there. I, I, sorry, I was thinking of the, the, what is that thing? The fishing hole back here that we caught a king at? Okay. Are we wet? Ready? Really? No. It is so bittersweet. It is just so bittersweet doing this. I have, to, I have been dreading doing this for a while. I was kind of happy that we got as many like little side missions to do. I was very happy that they were spawning like they were. I was not ready to do this mission. So it was it was a welcome distraction. And it made me slow down, which, you know, was really hard to do for a while there. Absolutely masterful. You've outdone yourself. Wow. That that's an airship, alright. Can't wait to see it in action. Mm-hmm. It is very cool looking, though, I will say. 
<laughs> brings a tear to my eye. Oh, way. Did we really make that? Somebody pinch me. Yeah, just let me pinch myself <laughs> first. I should steal enemy blueprints more often. A green sandrock with this level of development. Everyone's going to go nuts at the summit. They'll hardly recognize the place. Well, <laughs> I know a few folks who'd recognize it. Hmm. Theo. Martel. Yeah. Well, it needs a name. Oh, true. We were so busy making it happen, I hadn't even thought about that. Just calling the airship, airship? <laughs> we're kind of like those kinds of people who never name their mounts and just call their horse, horse. I feel so called out by that line. You know they were all. The writers were directing that to us. A lot of people don't rename their animals, but I have a horse named Monet, Monet for the record. He's not just horse. Do I often refer to him as horse? Yes. I don't know why. Like, come on, horse. Like, but I name my horse. Oh, I don't know anyone like that. I'm not saying it's a lot of people. Here, horse. Come here, horsey. <laughs> not ringing any bells at all. Lore's open to suggestions, folks. Osimo Neo Prime Echo Yonikin's Epoch X. Percent sign. <laughs> you were ready for that one. Okay. Uh, hmm. Any <clears throat> other suggestions? The SS Martel, the SS Trudy, the SS Sandrock, SS Shippy McShace. Uh, whatever he said, name it after me. Oh, uh, we're going to do the SS Sandro Sandrock. Yeah, it's simple. It's on the nose if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, might be the kind of thing that we shouldn't overthink. Overthink? I take my coffee black, and my naming conventions completely devoid of symbolism. <laughs> Bully to you, you have my vote. Could be good for our brand recognition. If we have it flying over to other cities. Then there'll be no mistaking that this is the ship that Sandrock built. So I'm guessing that the airship then would be ours if she's saying that we could have it go over other city states. So I'm guessing it would be ours then. Because it's really, like I said, it's something that's not really defined what it is other than a defense contract. And we're making it spit out sweet seats. I can get behind that. Nice to be recognized, I guess. All right then. SS Sandrock it is. Yay. Someone needs to test it, by the way. Uh -huh. As confident as I am in our design, <laughs> it would simply be bad practice to allow our free alliance representatives to take an especially maidenly maiden voyage. You want to borrow my plasma saber? You can be like all gungum up there. I will take it up with justice. We'll take it out at night. So when everyone sees it at the summit celebration, it'll be for the first time. Very well. Let us all retire. If you're not awakened by explosions mm -hmm. tonight, assume that our airship has been a success. Plus 10. Magic Mirror became our good friend. Primitive Yakmo Furry Top. We will take a picture of it for thumbnails and stuff. Um, actually, I don't think... I don't think I'm at, I'm at the right level. Are you stuck, sir? Huh? I'm trying to hit do Try again. Well, I'm trying to do this thing called fun recently. Perhaps you've heard of it. I had a concept introduced to me by your colleague Neon, as it were, spending a bit of time on my cable car and even the roller coaster, if you're feeling fancy, can be rather rejuvenating. I highly recommend that all of us get out and have a bit of fun from time to time good time good for particular productivity. He'll eventually figure it out. I wanted a good picture of this, but we're a little low. There we go. Thumbnail. And it really is low. Res, that's better. That was interesting. Why that was such a low res photo. So that is done. It is built. So sad. All right. We are 
gonna go fishing, I think, over here. No, we're gonna donate the Adder King. And then I think we're gonna go fishing by uh, Logan's hideout. That is the game plan. This is gonna be a very short episode. I could do another day, but I, I will keep it. We have another fish, guys. You have another friend. Wow, those are worth a lot when you donate them. Three. And they do count towards this. So we need 17 more things. We could work on some weapons and have those going. I think we're to the alloy. Actually, I would have to, yeah, we're to the alloy. We could have all the alloy weapons being made while we're out fishing. I'll do it. Maybe alloy and essential. And then we'll just donate whatever fish remain. It's like, I would, nope, it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. It's, that is going to take me forever to figure out. Um... Yeah, okay. I wish there was an alphabetical sorter. That would be wonderful. We also have the guns we can donate to. Alloy, alloy, alloy. I forgot what I was looking halfway through. And daggers. I think that is it for Alloy. Super Shock, I think, is technically... I'm trying to think. I think Super Shock is technically the Iron. We'll do that next, I think. Well, oh, actually, we forgot Steel. We skipped a grade because it's what? It's... Stone, bronze, iron, steel alloy, I think. Who is there? Oh, they're tourists. They're tourists. Never mind. I keep forgetting that they actually routed them there now. Okay, we're going to go fishing. Mainly I just want to see what's over here because I never come over here. Here's where all the spinels are now. This is where we basically have to go. Still, there really are, there's not that many. I think the only, I think that I would be happy with the amount of spinels is if they added a node back. That to me is what needs to be added. They could just add the node somewhere and I'd be a happy camper. It, we, we got replaced what was taken from us. All right. Yes, we're up to three spinels. Um, three spinels, and I think there's one up there. So four more spinels. That's it. Not that many. I know you're gonna probably bother me at some point, Trippion. I know you will. Okay, we're gonna see what fish are here. Mud. Uh, you. Look how derpy they look. Nope. So you will eat that. Okay. Nope. Look how derpy they look. So derpy. So what is it that they want? It's not this. The shallopede, I guess? Oh, 
Wow, this one might be the hardest one. If that's the case, that they only want a shellipede. Because you can't make these. This is, you have to find them. I can go and see if there's anything on the, oh, no way. I need to play the frickin' lottery. That thing is cool looking. No way. Hooked horns on his head and the spiked fins made the king mudfish. No way. How was that a thing? Sorry, probably the microphone did not pick that up. Um, the king mud fin looks incredibly aggressive. It can fetch a much higher price. How did that happen that fast? Oh my god. Wow. Look how derpy he looks though. Anyway, I need to cross that off. I'm in a state of shock. Sorry if I hit the microphone. Um, <laughs> just went like whack. So maybe the... So I'm looking at my notes about fishing. Oh, that was a bigger step than I thought it was going to be. Um, it says for the snake king and the wolf, the bend is a place to go too. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I really thought that the king thing was like me living in my fantasy world. Like, sure, sure, Lexi, you're a kiddo. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're thinking right on that one. I really thought it was one of those like pie in the sky type ideas. It actually is a feasible thing that we can do at this point. So now I wonder what you guys want. Snakefish. I, I'm wondering if maybe... Hmm. See, what I'm wondering is trying to... I'm in a state of shock that that's basically where I'm at right now. Oh, I did not expect it to be on three shellipedes. Um, I'm wondering if maybe the reason this might be a better one is because maybe the snakefish, like the, the over... No... What do we have here? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. I know sand fishing. What are you? You're the lungfish. Don't seem interested. Is it this maybe? Hmm. No. I haven't seen a single... Well, yeah, I guess that would be the snakes. Okay. So this is going to be chestnuts. I mean, we're getting larger ones than we were before, I think. And I... Oh, wolf eel. That's a new one. And I do think we might be reaching the limit as to what we can actually catch. Just due to the overlap that we may be just fishing forever. I just still can't believe we caught the other one. And we're on two kings today, aren't we? I guess, I mean, it goes to show you, I think, when you actually dedicate the time. <gasps> no way. No way. If you mess this up, fish, I am gonna. Oh, it took too long to get there. Oh, <gasps> but we got the wolf. Oh. I can't even say it. The Wolf Eel King. Another one down. We need the Snake Sand Snake King. Oh, you're the same. You're a repeat now. Yeah, that's where I think we might have a lot of problem. So he actually takes too long to get here. Yeah. 
Yeah, this king actually takes too long to get to where he needs to go. Hmm, so I'm wondering how we're gonna get the snake, sand snake king. That's what I'm wondering. I think it's just gonna be RNG. Unfortunately, I really think that's what's gonna come down to is that you're, we're gonna throw it one time and it's gonna be the sand snake king and not the wolf uh, eel king, which is unfortunate. That that sucks. I'm the only other. Well, yeah, this one. I'm these ones. I might have to research more. There's very limited information. First off, um, and the fishing. I think because the fishing didn't really take off as well in this game as it did in Porsche. Porsche was more like a true mini game. This is not as much of a mini game. This is to me more, gr eh, I don't know. The grind is kind of the same. I think the Porsche one, it's a more enjoyable grind really. That's I think the difference. The Porsche fishing grind is a, is a it's profitable. Let's call it what it was. It was the money. It was the easiest way to make money. You could make thousands upon thousands of dollars off of fishing. Whereas in this game, they took the profit out of it. Like they took away the breeders and all of that type of stuff. So that essentially was taking the monetary value and gain out of it. Which I still, still not a fan of. I still wish it was a monetary gain thing. We need to go back. I'm boring you fish. Does anyone want this? No. That's gotta be the loaches and stuff. We could try them next. After the, um, the summit, we could try the loaches. Cause we still need to get um, this is the last one, and then we're going. We still need to get, um, the Sand Snake King, King of the Wolf Eels, fearsome and strong. We still need to get the Snake King, or Snake, Sand Snake King, excuse me, uh, the Crustacean Carp, the Bullhead, and a Giant Loach. The crustacean carp, bullhead, and uh, giant loach are only available uh, lab seven or the uh, northern plateau. Those are the only two holes, so we will grind those out of those two. Those I think will be very difficult, um, just because they I think they all want the same uh, bait. The sand snake, I am gonna have to research where to go. It may be going to the Eufala and only using um, chestnuts. That might be the solution. Okay. We're gonna go to bed. Hopefully our husband has been doing a wonderful job as he always does taking care of the baby. At this point, do I really need to wonder if Logan's doing it? No, cause he is just like, the best human ever. Where's our other king? Oh, there they are. Oh, they don't. Oh, they none of them do. I was gonna say they don't have the king symbol. They do need to put spaces in those though. It's not a good look. Anyway. Okay, sorry, I really, really quickly wanted to look at what the baits were. So, the loach, the crustacean carp, the bullhead, and the loach all like fine rice, and the sand snake likes chestnuts. So we will have to focus on that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sand Rock. Next episode, we will have probably maybe a day of nothing, and then the first day of the summit. 
that will probably what will be. So the next couple episodes or probably next three to four episodes are that it may not even be a full day. I'm going to try to take what is actually like a huge dump of story and try to do it into like 50 minute chunks because it's a lot of story and a lot of cute things and it's a lot to take in. So I'm going to try to make them manageable and the wallpaper is very small. But anyway, so yeah, so that's what we're going to probably do. So it, these might not be full days. They may be a half a day. They may be three quarters of the day, that type of thing. So, so I, hope, oh, I know you're tired. Hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Thank you.